Avast and welcome to the top five pieces of gear that you really, really need, but you didn't know that you needed. Let's get started, shall we? With number one. Ha! Ah, Minuendo make this really awesome set of lossless earplugs. Now, what makes these completely different from anything else on the market? And if you don't have earplugs and you play in a band, get some earplugs if it's the last thing you do. So these are adjustable hearing protection and on the side, as you can see in this really cunning close-up, you can adjust it from 7 dB to 25 dB. How often have you seen singers remove one earplug to get a little bit more volley? No longer required with Minwendo. Comes with all of the bells and whistles including a tiny toothbrush. <laughs> Number two, Hoa! it's a boss line selector LS2. Now, I guarantee the majority of you have never tried one of these. I wish I'd known about this years ago. I contacted Boss and I said, listen, your chorus pedal sounds amazing, but it is too loud and there is too much effect and I cannot dial it down. They sent me this. And then I noticed that Paul Gilbert always uses it, as do a bunch of other super pro credible guitar players who are a million times better than me. It's an effects loop in a pedal and you can switch between two different loops. Each one has a level. <laughs> See what I mean? You can have one loop for a one rhythm guitar tone, one loop for a lead guitar tone. You can do all sorts of micro adjustments and clever routing with this. And you can go, look, I needed this. It's tech and it's practical and useful. It's not just another distortion pedal, do you know what I mean? And by the way, there are links to every single product I am discussing in today's video in the show more section just below. Number three. Huh. Oh, it is my Flyby Ultra from Mono. Now listen, not just do I take one of these with me absolutely everywhere on tour, but also I use it in my everyday life. Uh, they are almost indestructible. Now I say almost because this is my second brand new one. The other one is here, and I've had this one for eight years. And after eight years of, you know, lots of tours and playing abroad in America and all of this, it's just started to go up the handle here, and that's it. Other than that, it's still a fully operable bag. So I recommend these. Mono flyby bag. Go get one. The next thing is something that I never thought I would ever buy, really, I didn't think that I had a use for one, but actually it's incredible and I found myself using it every single day. I can't get it with the sword though. It's an Everse 8. This is a battery powered rechargeable PA speaker. It's so good, so practical, so loud. You can charge it and it will run for like a day, pretty much. It's amazing. It's waterproof at the back. There's a, there's a, a magnetized clippable panel that clips onto it to make it completely waterproof. It's just turned on because it wants to show you how good it is. You can plug in loads of different things. You can Bluetooth to it. I actually run my TV through it when I'm watching Netflix with the wife. Man, it sounds amazing and what I do in here with this is I do a lot of practicing and rehearsing. I run backing tracks through it to have them at a recent, recent, decent volume and enough uh, bass kick that I'm feeling the tunes and the drums because often what I find is when I'm playing through with headphones, I don't like the feeling and I don't like the way my amp sounds. And when I'm playing through with a small, uh, like a Bose Revolve, it doesn't quite give you that uh, kick where you feel the drums for rhythm practice. This gives you the kick. It's really good. Everse E8. Go check it out. Quick honourable mention before I move on to the final product. This is a vocal tube. It's a ridiculous thing and yet I use it pretty much all the time. It is a piece of medical grade uh, tubing that is a very specific diameter and what you do is you put it into a water bottle and then you blow down the tube and it exercises and massages the whole vocal system. I would say that this uh, and altering my diet is what got me through the damage that I had sustained to my vocal cords after having 
really bad COVID. And I would recommend that anyone who sings would try one of these. I had pneumonia <laughs> and COVID. And this got me through that. In fact, I even sang a gig uh, with pneumonia <laughs> because this got me through it. Recommend it, vocal tubes. Okay, my final and last thing that you really need but you didn't know that you needed actually is two things because one of them is really expensive and one of them is, in my opinion, a more affordable, um, similar kind of version to what it is. So the expensive and really nice one is this. Yes, it's a quad cortex. Have you actually tried one? They are astoundingly good. Yes, they're a bit expensive, but they really are right at the top of their game with the tones, the functionality, and I'm very good friends with the artist manager and one of the owners, and every time I talk to Max, the artist manager, he goes, oh yeah, and no, I was just hanging out with Metallica, oh, and Joe Satriani, and mentions every artist that I love who's either checking it out or using it. However, if you can't afford a mural, this is what I would recommend. It's the Trident by NUX. It's a lot easier uh, laid out. I mean, it's literally just WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Reverb, delay, modulation, effects. It's a preamp. It's digital, but it sounds super, super good. I've got a review of this already. I highly recommend them. See if you can find them. I'm not even sure if they're available to purchase everywhere yet, but they soon will be. And boy, they are. Super good for all my preamp boys on the floor. This is uh, this is my more affordable recommendation for you. Anyway, hope that was in any way useful for you. There are links to every single product in the show more section below. Check them out. Take it easy. Chop us out. Tiny toothbrush. <laughs>